So, uh, I would like to talk about the way to uh, restore the acetabulum uh, after uh, bone surgery and uh, after tumor. As you probably know, the um, acetabulum can be uh, just um, restored by the following methods. First of all, this is individual uh, replacement. These are uh, prosthesis and the transposition of the endoprosthesis into the uh, sciatic, sciatic area or in the area of the sacrum. So sometimes it happens so that the small, uh, not bulky tumor does not uh, cover the acetabulum and you can uh, do the bone sparing. Uh, surgery, uh, which does not result in a ch such huge, uh, uh, re uh, just uh, uh, prosthetic surgery afterwards. You probably remember this anaking uh, type of surgery. Uh, if the acetabulum is uh, touched upon, is uh, just there is a lesion in the acetabulum. We propose the following: there is a resection of the acetabulum in order to um, get rid of the uh, location or su sublocation, um, or dislocation or sublocation of the um, uh, of the uh, pelvic uh, uh, bones, and uh, we do a fixation by means of anchor anchors. So, and inside this handle. There are uh, four threads with needles which allow us to fix the uh, adjo adjacent tissue. You can see this uh, particular fixation points. This year we received the patent. So the indications are anakin localization. Uh, one, two areas, and also uh, zones two and three, metastatic primary lesions of grade one, two, and three with good response to the preoperative chemotherapy. Also adjacent but not involving the um, uh, articular structures of the acetabula. Central or uh, median localization and resection by uh, one or three type. We uh, have to leave at least 25, 30% of the acetabular dome uh, and also appropriate volume of the muscular tissue located in this area. Counterindications are general counterindications of the uh, pelvic surgery as well as involvement of over 30% of the acetabular dome and osteoporosis of the pelvic bones which will and the hip bones which will not allow us to introduce the anchor screws because they will be dislocated with time. The positive aspects and the, is, first of all, uh, the implants are not big, so subsequently they will be covered with the soft tissue. Uh, also, there is a smaller volume of surgery and a good functional uh, outcome. The dislocation uh, is something that we prevent, and the much better mobilization, improved quality of life, reduced bed days, as well as the consumables are the much uh, we spent much small smaller amount of consumables the uh, disadvantages are uh, small uh, very low frequency approximately seven percent so clinical example uh, so I will uh, tell you so that uh, approximately I have operated on five cases starting from 2012. And out of all the five uh, patients, uh, so I'm going to show you all the five cases. So first, so you can you saw the tumor that uh, was adjacent to the acetabulum. So here you can see the stage of surgery after resection of the uh, acetabular dome. This is uh, the. Um, Hip, hip bone head, and uh, over here you can see the anchor screws and the fixation of the soft tissue adjacent to it. This, these are partially uh, fixed uh, soft tissue. Then after what we cut the threads, and uh, you uh, cover uh, all the rest with the uh, residual tissue. So this uh, video, could you start it, please? Could you come back? Okay, these are the functional outcomes. 
Uh, this is the x-ray after uh, surgery. You can see the anchor screws, which are very well visible. And this is the area of uh, the acetabulum resection. This is the macro spec specimen. And the, over here, you can see the functional result in a year after surgery. Now, let's continue. Next slide. The functional outcome in a year. The patient, uh, you can see, has been followed up for eight months. The, uh, there is no data for the relapse of disease, and you can see that the functional outcomes are good. He married, actually, and he graduated from a university, and he even uh, managed to lift and carry uh, his uh, uh, would-be wife during the wedding. So this is uh, uh, chondrosarcoma, which involves uh, the uh, pubic area as well as the groin area and the, also the dome of the acetabulum. These are stages of resection with the uh, visible head of the hip bone. This is 3D reconstruction, and you can see the area of resection of approximately 35-40%, and this is the functional outcome for the patient in a year after surgery. You can see that the patient uh, walks uh, using orthesis, um, which is casting, which in fact we are walking support, walking aid, which in fact we use at all times. Uh, he will ask him for follow up for a certain period of time, but when then we resumed follow up, and uh, there are no signs of a relapse. Next case, 75 years of age with um, myxofibrosarcoma of the left. Um, um, uh, Asiatic bone. You can see here the CT and MRI in the preoperative during the preoperative uh, planning. Uh, generally speaking, uh, you can see that the anterior part of the acetabulum was involved. Uh, we uh, had to use another method. You can see the uh, surgical approach here, and you can see the resection of uh, the acetabulum uh, mid part. Uh, we are uh, mm, just separated all the um, muscles that we needed for, for plastic surgery. So uh, uh, you can see here the fixa uh, tissue fixation and also the anchor screws that we used. And uh, just to restore the uh, acetabulum dome, we used uh, the screws, which we uh, linked together with this sort of wire fixation. And above, we placed a composite bone material, which is x-ray negative and uh, x-ray uh, translucent. And this is the final um, view of the surgical field before we closed it. Now, here you can see the uh, dome of uh, the acetabulum in the specimen, which we removed, and block. Uh, this is a 3D reconstruction. You can see the screws there. This is uh, the way we restored the acetabulum and its upper part. Now, this is nine months uh, post-op. Uh, the patient is still uh, on follow-up, uh, he uh, actually marked his uh, birthday not very long ago. Uh, for 54 uh, months, we followed him up, and there are no uh, evidence for, uh, that would tell us about progression of disease. This is another a patient with a primary uh, tumor in the bladder and metastasis in the left sciatic bone. You can see here 3D uh, reconstruction of the preoperative planning. The preoperative plan uh, that we operated via a posterior approach. You can see here the uh, biosynthetic material that we used to restore the acetabulum. This is macro specimen. You can see the resection, uh, the posterior part of the acetabulum alongside with the sciatic bone. Here you can see the anchor screws, they are very well visible. This is the drainage tube, and uh, over here this is the area of resection and micro, um, macro specimen with, uh, the, um, with a fragment of acetabulum. You can see that it was a radical resection. These are functional outcomes in six months after surgery. You can see brilliant outcomes. Unfortunately, in 14 months after that, there was a metastasis outside of the area of the surgery, much higher in the uh, sciatic bone. And at the moment, he is um, 
he is treated uh, conservatively. Uh, no surgery was repeated yet. So this is an, um, another patient, 45 years uh, age, again with uh, the ingrowth of tumor into the acetabulum. Four courses of uh, chemotherapy was um, provided, and you can see that during surgery uh, we needed to reject approximately 70 percent of the acetabulum. Uh, these uh, and only small. Um, fragment is left behind. Now you can see the dome of the acetabula and also you can see a very small fragment uh, which is uh, just... And this is the functional outcome in 22 months post-op. The patient is limping, but uh, he and he also uses a cane. If he has to walk along, he uh, comes over for follow-up visits for 45 months in a row, and no progression of disease. Rehabilitation was pre-rehabilitation, and also educating the patient how to use crunches, adequate re construction of the acetabulum with anchor, uh, screw fixation, but, and uh, by synthetic tissue it's very important because actually if the screws dislocate then the tissue will be ruptured and there will be a sublocation or uh, just we also can use the uh, muscle flaps so passive uh, uh, motion starts uh, in uh, two days and the uh, casting, as a matter of fact, is used in the early post-operative peri uh, period. And uh, then uh, also the walking aid, uh, they are, are re refused um, usually at day 28 to 60. Very now you can see cumulative chart. Uh, it's not very well visible, but I would like to say that uh, these were uh, two patients with chondrosarcoma, mixofibrosarcoma, um, osteosarcoma, and the solitary metastasis of the uh, bladder cancer. The percentage of resection varied from 25 to 70, 35, 40 percent. And also, I would like to say that in all patients, the post-operative complications were absent, and the data for the date, uh, for the disease progression were absent. Uh, just one patient with a metastasis from the bladder cancer. And uh, so, meticulous preoperative planning allows us to select the patient uh, for such type of uh, radical resection. Such method of uh, restoring the acetabulum is possible in the central, uh, central medial localization of the uh, lesions. Uh, on the localization of the tumor by Anakin uh, 1, 2, 2, 3. So we uh, need to have at least 25-30% left of lateral uh, segments of the acetabulum. The soft tissue can be used uh, as uh, uh, from the muscular flaps from the same uh, region and as well as the synthetic tissue. The, um, uh, resection margins are, are zero and uh, no progression of disease was marked uh, with the exception of one patient that I've already said, uh, told about. This method allows us to restore the function of the uh, hip joint and also prevent uh, sublocation and dislocations. We uh, achieved good functional outcomes. Uh, Usually, it's 85 to 100 scores by MSTSS score. Thank you very much.